In this video, you will learn 11 plus nonverbal reasoning type 14, 3D rotations. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at a 3D rotation example. And in this example, what we have to do is that we need to find which one of these shapes inside the box has been rotated to form the two new 3D figures. And as you guys could see, we have two examples. We have example one and example two. So let's start with example one first. The things to notice with this 3D figure is that we have three cuboids. We have a cuboid here, a cuboid here, and a final cuboid at the top. We have three cuboids. What this means is that if we find an option that does not contain three cuboids, then we cross the option off. So let's start with A. In A, we can find a cuboid here, a cuboid here, and another cuboid right here. So in A, we can find three cuboids, so therefore we can leave A as it is. In B, we can find a cuboid here and another one here. We can only find two cuboids in B and not three and because of that, we're going to cross out B. Let's move to C. In C, we can find a cuboid here and another one here. We can only find two cuboids in C, which means it is not the same as three, and therefore, we can cross out C as well. What about D? Does D have three cuboids? In D, we have a cuboid here, a second cuboid, and a final, the third cuboid. Because we have three cuboids in D, D is fine, and we can now move on to E. In E, we have two cuboids. We have a cuboid here and another one here. Because we only have two cuboids, we have to cross out E as well. So let's move to F. In F, we can find all three cuboids. We can find a cuboid here, another one here, and a final one here. Because we had three cuboids in F, leave F as it is. So out of the six options we started with, we managed to cross out B, C, E, and we're now left with A, D, F. So we need to find which one is the correct answer out of A, D, and F. The thing to notice with this 3D figure is that if you have a look at all of the cuboids, out of the three cuboids, you can see that two of them are vertical. You can see that two of the cuboids are vertical, but the other one is horizontal. So what does this mean? If we find an option in which that does not contain two cuboids that are vertical, and one that is horizontal, then we cross the option off. So let's have a look at A. In A, we can find two of the cuboids, which are vertical, and we can also find one of them that is obviously horizontal, which is the right thing. So therefore, we can leave A, because two vertical cuboids and one horizontal cuboid is what we are looking for. Now let's move to D. In D, we have only one vertical cuboid. We only have one vertical cuboid in D and not two, which means we have to cross out D. So let's move to F. Let's have a look at F. Just like in D, we only have one vertical cuboid. Because we only have one vertical cuboid and not two, we're going to cross out F as well. So now we're only left with one option, which is A. So therefore, our answer to this question is A. Now, let's have a look at the second example. And with this 3D figure, as you guys could see, you guys could see that we have two cuboids. We have one here, another cuboid here, but we also have two cubes. So we have two cuboids and two cubes. So if we find an option that does not contain two cubes and two cuboids, let's cross the option off. In A, you can straight away see that we only have one cube, which is not the correct number, so cross out A. Let's move to B. In B, you can find two cubes, one here and another one here, and you can also find two cuboids, two right here. B is fine. Let's move to C. In C, you can once again find two cuboids, and you can also find two cubes. So C is fine. Leave C as it is. Move on to D. In D, we can straight away see that it only contains one cube. Because it only contains one cube, cross out D, since it's not the correct number. Let's move to E. In E, we have one cuboid, two cuboid, one cube, two cube. We have two cuboids and two cube, so E can stay as it is. 
let's move into F. Just like the other two we've crossed out, straight away you can see that this one only contains one cube. Since that's not the correct number of cubes, we can cross out F as well. So after the six options we started with, we're now left with B, C and E. You guys could see that both of these cuboids are roughly the same length. This cuboid and obviously this cuboid are the same length. And because both of these cuboids are the same length, if we find an option in which that the cuboids are different lengths, let's cross the option off. So let's start with B. In B, as you guys could see, you can straight away see that this cuboid is definitely larger than this cuboid. Because one of the cuboids is larger than the other cuboid and not the same length, cross out B. So let's move to C. In C, we can find both of these cuboids the same length, which is obviously the right thing. So C is fine. Leave as it is. Let's move to E. In E, we can find that both of these cuboids are the same length because they're the same length. Leave E as it is as well. So we're still left with C and E. The thing if you notice with C is that you can see that both of the cuboids are next to each other. This cuboid and this cuboid are right next to each other. But if you have a look at the actual 3D figure, you can see that one of the cuboid is actually stacked on top of the other cuboid. This cuboid is stacked on top of this cuboid. However, in C, they're just next to each other and they're not stacked on top of each other. Because they're not stacked on top of each other, let's cross out C. So we're left with E, so E must be our answer. But just to be sure E is our answer, let's check it anyway. In E, both of the cuboids are stacked on top of each other. This cuboid we have right here is obviously underneath this cuboid, so they're stacked. So therefore, our answer to this question is E. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right, and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.